to my channel keeping up with kia p i am your girl kia p aka kia the crafter and we are here today with a brand new brand new resin project okay so we're gonna get started here in a minute but before we get started y'all already know what i want y'all to do go ahead and hit that subscribe button below hit that subscribe button below okay and give me some thumbs up some thumbs up if you like the video and hit that notification bell right so that you can be notified when we upload new content and this is new content new project new project yes 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 so with no more further ado right i'm gonna take you down okay let's get ready let's get ready and here we go okay i know you're like what is going on here what is going on? But I'm going to I'm going to describe everything. Give us some more light. Everything that's going on on my table. Okay. So our new project is these little they call pudding pudding jars with the lids, right? And so what I did was I bought two because they come separate. So I bought two, which I'm on them packaging right now, right here with you, right? Two of the same thing. And these are called like pudding jars with lids. I don't know how much um, resin they take, right? I don't. I don't know how much resin they take. But I estimate, I estimated 12 ounces maybe to do both of them with each lid. So I have six ounces of my A and six ounces of my B. This is my A. The A is always the thicker one. So we're gonna pull, pour that A right on up in here like so. Pour it right on up in there and I'm going to take it and because my camera is on this side and I'm left handed, I'm going to, you're not going to see me be able to scrape it, but I'm scraping my cup, getting everything out. You don't need to see me do that. You guys already know to do that, right? You guys already know to do that. And if you are absolutely a beginner, this will be your first project ever. You like, I really, really want to try that. I really want to make that. Then make sure you scrape all of your resin A from around the sides of your cup. You want to get everything out because it's measured. And you are transferring it into another container. So you want to make sure you get as much of it as possible. No, you're not going to get every single drop, but I want you to get as much of it as possible out of there. Okay. As much of it as possible. And with a good spatula, you can get pretty much pretty much all of it okay so that is my part a I'm gonna set that cup to the side now I have my part B I'm gonna pour that on in there same thing scraping that and the part B is a is the thinner one a is real thick part B is thin so you should be able to get most of part B out if you're transferring it to a different cup that don't hold over eight ounces okay so we have those two we're gonna mix this up now I these are the this is the first time we are doing this project okay we have the two lids 
Make sure they on camera, right? Make sure everything is on camera. I'm gonna actually bring this table and this little platform a little bit closer so I can scoot some of this back and we can use more of the space. <coughs> okay. There, there, there. All right. I'm going to continue to stir. <clears throat> Thank you for everyone that has subscribed to the channel. I appreciate you guys so much. It is growing. I am super excited to see what, you know, just what all is going to do. I am enjoying being here with you guys. You Just you subscribing and being a part of my world keeps me wanting to post videos keep me wanting to share new things with you guys so i appreciate your time i appreciate your subscriptions i appreciate your likes and just all of the comments i appreciate you guys so so much interaction i try to respond as quick as i can and yeah to every comment because you matter and I appreciate you so so much I love you guys thank you so much so we are mixing as you can see it's getting clearer and clearer and I'm just mixing it on up over here we're gonna let this sit for a few minutes once I get it mixed in pretty good so and no I'm not gonna have you wait with me that 10 minutes no i'm not so i'm gonna keep stirring this up and i'll come back after like right when i get done with the 10 minutes and show you the next step and the reason why i wait the 10 minutes okay all right sit tight okay i am back and correction has been about maybe five minutes and the reason why I set it to the side and wait is because it gives time for some of the bubbles to come to the top. And then I take my heat gun blower, heat blower gun, whatever, and I just blow it out. Blow out some of those bubbles that's on top or in the mixture before I pour it or mix the color. Sometimes I'm go ahead and mix the color and wait, but I wasn't for sure what I wanted to do, so yeah now i'm gonna mix some color now i'm gonna mix some color with it um i didn't know what i wanted to do with these um i know i want them to be two colored like the top color one color this part one color and then it to blend into another color so what i'm thinking is i want to do a clear and white so that it'll be kind of clear with the white piercing through it. And then the bottom part will be like a gold with glitter. And I'm going to see how that, how that comes out. So what I'm going to do is separate the resin. It's good and clear. I'm going to separate it by pouring some in each cup. I'm going to leave um no I'm not gonna leave it absolutely clear but I'm gonna put some gold uh, these are going I'm gonna do y'all see that I'm gonna use that for the bottom part for the bottom part but I'm gonna use um, some gold glitter regular gold glitter with this clear Regular gold glitter, right? And we're gonna mix that up, and it's not too much. It's it's really not too much considering. And then this other one we're gonna use 
we're gonna put the white we're gonna put the white in it and I'm using acrylic um, white or do I want to do the pearl mm, we're gonna we're gonna use pearl mica powder I think that would be pretty. Let me see if I have, I know I have one. Let's see which one I want to use. I know I should have a white. Might not be in this one. Two down in there, and two dabs. I push it down in there. As you see, a little bit of it came out, just popped out, so just be careful. And I think that's going to be pretty. It's like a pearl white. A little gold effect to it. And so this is going to be our first part. Hope they come out okay, right? So I'm gonna pour a little bit of the gold, come back and pour the white, and I have to look at it from the side because I can't really see it. Same thing here pour the gold and I'm gonna try to maintain the same if I pour the gold on one side I'm pouring the white on the opposite hopefully they'll blend pretty good this I'm the same thing pour on one side pour on the other pour and pour thing a little bit of both left I'm gonna come back So they both gone pretty much. Let's 
scrape out everything that's left. Oh, they come out pretty. So I'm going to let this sit for a minute before I um, actually pour in the last color. But the tops, I'll show you. Some of it fell to the side. Because <laughs> this is a real small popsicle stick. I don't know where I got this from. It is severely little, but got the job done. So, yeah, I'm going to let these sit for a second before I pour the, the clear and gold flakes. I think I'm going to do that last, but I'm going to get it ready. And that's, I think that's pretty much... I did about six, so that's about six ounces. Six ounces there. It's gotta be how much is left. Look on the side. Yeah, so that's that's six ounces. And we got probably another four to go. So six and six, about ten ounces. I would say for so I'm two over just eyeballing it so maybe 10 ounces total to do two jars that's five ounces each jar Not too bad it's five ounces each jar I'm just kind of letting that sit a little bit this I'm gonna use these they're so pretty so we're gonna go ahead and crack these open they like little leaves and I'm just gonna saturate this resin with it because they so pretty and go ahead and stir them in or something I'm gonna pour some more because I want them I want it like it's kind of clear but where you can kind of not see through it too yeah so when I stir it I can actually feel the glitter the, the little leaves in it center of the top. Yeah, I'm liking that. I'm liking that. That's pretty to me. 
Now these leaves are, seem to be kind of heavy because they're floating to the bottom of my cup. So I'm taking it that they're gonna float probably through, through the white. I'm hoping not. Here we go. Oh, I'm nervous. Just pray it work the way I want it to work. So far, it looks good though. Okay, we got a little bit of resin left. Just a smidge. So you're gonna need about nine, about nine, about nine ounces or so. Still, I would still say ten. Um, well, yeah, about nine. Cause I still got just a little bit, but nine, nine will be enough. I don't know what to do with this, but yeah. So we're gonna let this sit for a second, and we'll put it in our resin oven. I'll come back and show you the unmolding and the next step. Okay, sit tight. All right, guys, we are back with our mold that we poured I've already demoted the other one y'all y'all this is the best the best so let me demote it so you can see what it does okay I fell in love with these I think I fall in love with everything hold on I don't want to break my nail I'm trying to get this out it is a little bit of a struggle <laughs> at first but once you fold it down it becomes a little bit easier and I'm sure if you don't have nails you can get it but once you fold it down it comes right out and what I didn't know because I couldn't see was that these have ridges and yeah y'all super cute super cute i will be making so many of these so many of these look at that and it's got a nice little um inside too for you to put a nice little bit of materials whatever you're gonna use this is the top we're gonna go ahead and get this pulled out y'all they are so cute like the cutest thing ever the cutest thing ever and that is the top okay 
And so, like I told you, it has ridges. So, I thought that they pop on, but they screw on. Okay, so you can fill it with your... Um, I'm going to fill it. I'm torn in between filling it with my sugar scrubs or my body whips. Um, you can fill it with anything you want to fill it with. Actually, you can make them in any color. I thought that the gold flower flakes would have... I would have liked for them to kind of be like around this part of it. But that's pretty too. And they came out super cute. There's the other one. I love these little things. You can use these for pudding, ice cream, um, fruit, um, just about anything. Put you a couple little nuts in there, nuts and berries, trail mix, whatever you want to fill them with. Um, your little trinkets if you don't want to use food or anything like that you can fill them with your trinkets y'all I love 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 these love these love 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 these put a little label on them and you're good to go okay so those are the little pudding jars nice little I filled them up with water to measure what was in here for liquid ounces liquid ounces you get four liquid ounces so a half of cup of liquid ounces okay so make sure you hit that subscribe button where you know you're gonna see all the newest and the latest projects okay yes hit that subscribe button give me some thumbs up right and hit that notification bell so you can be notified when we upload brand new content okay see you on the next one love you as always be safe